My name's Rob Wallace. Jamie Walter. Nick Nagley. I'm Jim Walter. I'm here in DeKalb, Illinois, where I make whiskey. The thing that makes Whiskey Acres really unique is that we do everything ourselves. We are one of the few estate distilleries in the world. We don't just distill products and age them and bottle them. We grow all the ingredients that go into it. We do that all ourselves on our family farm. What I'm harvesting today won't see a consumer's glass for at least five years. Periodically next to us, a, a tractor and a blue cart pull up alongside of us. We call that the grain cart. His job is to shuttle the grain from me back to the ends of the field. And then he loads it on the semi trucks, which then take it back to our grain facility for drying and storage. Step one of the process every day starts with a, a cook or a mash. This is the process of adding water and grain in to basically cook unmalted grain to soften the starch uh, that will then add either malted barley or enzymes in to actually convert that starch to fermentable sugar for the yeast to consume. We'll then pump it over into one of our five fermenters here. Uh, these are temperature controlled to basically give the yeast a happy environment. Uh, otherwise, things will get too hot. Uh, so when the yeast start consuming uh, the sugar, it produces ethanol, CO2, heat, and all the flavor compounds that actually go into giving you the aroma and the flavor of the finished product. After three to five days, our fermentation is complete. We'll move on to step three here, which is the actual distillation process in our 500 gallon copper pot still. This process takes place in two stages. There is a wash run, which is actually removing all of the alcohol. The vapor rises through the column, across the line arm, down into the condenser, where it goes into our holding tank. After several uh, wash runs, stripping runs here, we'll actually take about 425 gallons of that, put it back into the still, and do what's called a spirit run. And that is where we actually get the final product that will be about a 70% alcohol by volume new make spirit. So after distillation, we collect a week's worth of distillate to go into a barrel. All of your color comes from the barrel. So you're adding color, you're adding flavor, because whenever you actually heat up this wood and you char it, you're getting thermal degradation, and that's providing you with various flavors from the barrel, coconut, tobacco, fig, these will rest for four to five years minimum. And after four years, it comes out. Going out to restaurants and seeing our product on the shelves is the most satisfying experience you can have. And it's really fun to order something and buy a drink for the folks sitting next door and tell our story and help them enjoy it. When I make a bourbon that's, that's an exceptional flavor profile, and somebody comes and visits and buys a glass of bourbon and says to me, this is really good. It's very rewarding.